So here we have the IKEA high chair, probably the most affordable high chair on the market right now, um, including the tray which they sell separately. The whole thing costs about 25 to 30 Canadian dollars. But you'll notice there's two missing things. Uh, number one, there's no footrest. And number two, there's no storage component for you to place, say, your bibs. So today we're going to do a do-it-yourself video on how to add those items back onto the high chair. So the first thing we're going to work on is the footrest. And it's actually really simple. All you need is two hair ties and a piece of fabric. Um, you can get these, we got this at Fabricland for a few dollars. Um, it's pretty sturdy and strong. Now what you want to do is you want to measure the distance between the two poles. Um, we got our piece of fabric, it's about two feet long. Um, we have a little bit of room to spare in case you want to expand later on when your baby gets older. Next, you're going to take this piece of fabric and you want to measure the inside of the legs from left to right. So once you find a measurement, you want to mark it and then make two holes. One hole on the right and one hole on the left. Now our baby is about six months old, so she just started using the high chair. So we are going to start up a little bit higher. But as your child gets older, um, with the elastic bands, you, sh you should be able to pull this lower. So to accommodate their longer legs. So once you have made your hole, you'll see you have a bit of excess fabric, which is really good. Because as your child gets older, you want to be able to widen their footrest. So then you can put maybe a new hole um, down here. So to, you can accommodate the extra width um, between the two poles. So what we're going to do now is we're going to roll up the fabric as tight as we can all the way to the hole. All right, once we reach the hole, you take the hairband, you're going to put it together and you're going to put it through the hole. Just like this. So now you have these two ends, you just need to pull one end through the other, just like that. Like that. All right, so once you have tied your hair bands into the holes, we're gonna flip it. And so that we're gonna, this is gonna be the front piece. We're gonna hide the rolls in the back. Now you notice here that I have taken off the two front legs. It's really easy. You just need to press on this button. Use a pen to help if it helps you. And then you're just gonna pull out. All right, now we're gonna stick the poles through the hair bands. All right, so you put it up through once. Now for extra security, you want to be able to tie it twice. So you just turn it, and this is a little bit tricky, so you might need a few tries, but I'm just try to just get it in. There we go. So we do it twice, there's two ties here. Now do it for the other leg as well. Now that we have put the footrest onto the pole, um, you're gonna want to push the uh, hair band past this little point. So I'm gonna have to press on it and then roll it past it. Now it is time to attach it back onto the chair. So it's pretty simple. Just stick it in. You might need to press on it a little bit, roll with it, and then click. And there it is. And we're going to do it with the other end as well. All right, so now that we've attached the legs back onto the high chair, this is the final product. As you can see, our baby's feet is nice and comfortable resting on our new footrest. Again, this is a footrest. It's not a foot stand. It's not recommended for bigger babies. It's not meant for them to stand on to support themselves, but you know, instead of their legs dangling while they're eating, they can actually just comfortably rest their feet onto the, to this piece of fabric. I mean, I think that makes a world of a difference. So the second add-on we can do for this IKEA high chair is storage, specifically bibs. You know, when our baby's feeding, um, you need to gain access to a bib really quickly because she's messy. Um, we found out we can do it at the back. So what we did is we bought these clear hanging hooks um, and then you can just, just stick it, just, just stick it into the back up here. You can see it from here. Now the trick is you don't want it too high or else you won't be able to hang your bibs. Um, and you don't want it to be too low either, otherwise it's visible. So we just hung it in this position, you can see at the top. And then what we did is we have a baby hanger like that with all the bibs attached. And then all you have to do is just put the hanger inside and just hook it onto our hook. 
Let's do that. <laughs>